Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Right now, Sky and I are in Tennessee. We are just on the outskirts of the Smoky Mountains, which is illegal to film in because it is a national park. So we're not in the Smoky Mountains, but we're in Tennessee. Today's gonna be a really fun one because there is this YouTuber, Alex Nino, that I love to watch. He's a semi-truck driver, and he gave me the idea for tonight. Besides just sleeping in his nice comfy bed inside the truck, he actually put up a hammock. And I have an eight foot bed in a very, very doable rig in order to do the same thing. So he kind of gave me some inspo for today. But before we do anything, Sky and I are at a beautiful waterfall that I've heard is amazing and it's right around the corner. Oh, oh my goodness. The view from the top is so cool. <laughs> I think the rocks are slippery on us. Good girl. Oh. Give it a good shake. Ready, shake. Good girl. Oh yeah, get that water. Sky. I walk away for two seconds. <laughs> Come on. I spoke to a couple locals that are uh, swimming a little up the way on the river before the waterfall and they said you can get to the bottom but it's not the best with dogs especially after all the rain they just had. Bummer but that's okay. We still have about an hour and a half drive to Knoxville and I don't think the hammock that I have is going to work, so we might need to buy another one. Oh man, oh man. Got toasty real quick out there. We're just over an hour to get into Knoxville, and we need gas. <laughs> Ready, girl? <laughs> Brighten up your dog this spring with real fresh food. Spring is kind of here to remind us to clean everything up, including my diet. No more processed food for me or my dog. That's why we made the switch to Farmer's Dog, so we can feed Sky real meat and real veggies. You can see it in their bowl. Plus it's pre-portioned for your pup and it's delivered straight to your door, which just makes it a fresher and healthier relationship that you both can benefit from. Look, if your best friend is hairy and has four legs, just like mine, who's currently exhausted from going on a hike today, then you know just how important their health is. They just simply don't live long enough. But as their parents, we can provide them with real food that will give them more energy and just overall make them happier. Sky might be eight years old, but this girl gets the zoomies all the time. This is your PSA to make the switch to the farmer's dog. There's no hidden ingredients, okay? Made from whole meat and veggies, that's it. They even gently cook the food in human grade kitchens. This is to preserve the food's nutritional value. I'm just over the moon excited to show you guys the farmer's dog because I truly believe this is the best option for you and your pup. It's really easy too. Once you go on their website, you'll answer a few questions about your pup and then they'll deliver personalized vet developed recipes for as little as $2 a day. Meals arrive pre-portioned, ready to serve packs, conveniently delivered 
delivered straight to your door and they do it on your schedule no one else's but yours because let's face it we all live pretty hectic lives the food is backed by science recipes are developed by board certified nutritionists so they're complete and balanced every day more vets are recommending fresh food and fresh food recipes digestibility simply means how much of a food's nutritional value your dog's body is actually absorbing Fresh human grade food has been proven by multiple studies to be highly digestible, meaning that your dog is absorbing more of the food's powerful nutrition and not the highly processed options. So this means that dogs eating it actually produce smaller poops. So the proof is in the pudding and the pudding in this scenario is your dog's poop. So the, the proof is in the poop. If you're still scared to make the switch, I get it, it's intimidating. They just make it so easy. Look, it literally says Sky's Feeding Guide. They give me an entire packet on how to feed Sky and what I should do to make this transition easier. It's insane. And how can you not smile knowing that your dog is on every single pre-portioned package? Because every time I go to feed her dinner, I just crack a smile. I love it. Join me and freshen up your dog's diet this spring and get 50% off your first box of fresh, healthy food with my link down below. With 50% off with my link and free shipping, there's never been an easier time to invest in your dog's health. Thank you so much to the Farmer's Dog for sponsoring today's video. I love everything that they do over there. So make sure to go check them out. I appreciate it a lot. Without sponsors like them, Sky and I wouldn't be able to do what we do. And I promise you that your dog would not be disappointed and you would see the benefits of switching over to real food with no processed anything in it. Thank you to the Farmer's Dog for sponsoring today's video. I love them so much. Now back to today's episode. Grocery shopping success. Look at this new soda. It's uh, Dr. Pepper Creamy Coconut. I've been really good on not drinking soda and I'm super proud of myself. Probably haven't drank soda in a few weeks. I couldn't resist this though. Smells like regular Dr. Pepper. Taste test. Wow. <laughs> wow. Tastes more vanilla-y than coconut but this is insane this might be my number one favorite soda and it's only of course limited edition so it'll be gone soon that made my day 12 minutes away from our camping destination so far knoxville i don't know what to compare it to but knoxville tennessee is just kind of uh it's not bad it's, it it's not bad i don't know it's just knoxville i guess people here are insanely nice i had five or six people at the grocery store say, excuse me, ma'am, excuse me, ma'am. Back home, you get in someone's way, you're probably getting socked in the face. Especially when you go to Boston, you'll, you'll get beat up just for looking at them. And then everyone here is just giving you smiles and waves and it's kind of crazy. truck is right there and then there's the entrance to the creek. Sky, you want to go check out the creek? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Wow. What a spot. This is so cool. This is our backyard for the night. Not a day goes by where she does not swim. <laughs> Come here. Did you just eat that bug? Girl, I saw that. Just another day with a wet, soggy dog. 
You can't keep her out of the water. And even if you could, I wouldn't want to. But uh, Sky and I just went on a nice walk down the creek and I didn't see any crawfish. I think we'll go back out probably in the morning or a little bit later and see if we can find any because I feel like this is a creek where they would live. Um, but we're gonna pop up the truck hamper, get it all set up, and then see how we're gonna do this hammock thing because I don't know. Really? 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 My mini hammock. I forgot I had this one, but this should work perfect. Hair needs to go up in a bun. It is 90 degrees outside. It's kind of broken, but it's 93 degrees in the truck hamper. Definitely feeling it. I kind of miss the snow and the mountains right about now. <laughs> Some essentials that I always have in my truck hamper is a hammock. I actually have two of them in there. I thought I left this one at home, but this is the exact size I was looking for. So. It, now that I'm in here, I feel a little bit ridiculous uh, with this idea, but I still think it's gonna work. I still think it's gonna work. I know that that side, easy. I'm just gonna hook it to the outside of the tailgate. That, that's gonna be, it's gonna be easy. Dang, what the heck? I don't even know where to start. Yeah, this is definitely smaller than my other one that I thought that I only had, but it's still, <laughs> still large. Um, no worries, no fret, no fret, no stress. I have an idea. <laughs> I think I did it. <laughs> no way. No way. This is so cool. This is so stinking cool. Oh, good night. We're literally going to hammock camp. A little, little swing action. <laughs> Eight foot bed. Can't beat it. I grabbed a pillow and I got a little too comfy, but before I get overly comfy and don't want to move we got to prep dinner tonight because one of the steps kind of takes a while we are making nashville hot fried chicken sandwich it is an absolute staple in tennessee i wasn't going to make it and i was going to make a different tennessee you know food that they're known for but a lot of them required an oven and stuff that i just really didn't have like biscuits and gravy and cornbread and a bunch of other amazing dishes i mean tennessee you got the food i can tell you that okay first things first is you got to get chicken and you have to marinate it so we're gonna go make our wet and dry marinade get our chicken going the issue is the recipe that i was planning on following and that i bought the ingredients for at the supermarket i have no cell service i have like two bars nothing's loading so I mean, I watched the video four times and I'm just gonna have to measure with my heart, like we usually do anyways, and kind of just hope it turns out good because there's no way for me to look at the recipe. I should have saved it. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't know what I was thinking, but, oh my God, that's a big bee. Oh, it's a bumblebee. Oof, 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 oh, golly. Oh, I thought it was like a hornet. Bumblebees are fine. They're nice. Look how red I am. I'm not meant for this heat. Chicken breast tenders. That was recommended for our meat, so. Minutes has indeed passed probably a little bit more than 30 minutes actually 
but nonetheless marinated enough it's recommended to go overnight if possible but we're not gonna do that so yeah if you're gonna make it at home I recommend doing it overnight but they say 30 minutes is fine as well so I try not to deep fry too many things on the channel but I feel like with this recipe I really just don't want to mess it up so I got a fancy a good thermo it was only when they had and it was digital so it wasn't really cheap but it's fine it's all in the name of Nashville hot chicken right but I'm gonna get the oil going We shall let our oil heat up and check it. I'm going to look at my phone. I think I screenshotted it. I think this is the only thing I screenshotted before I lost cell service. The oil to reach 356, 356 Fahrenheit. Very specific, but okay. Time to measure with my heart some more all-purpose flour. Cornstarch. That feels right. <laughs> Chili powder. Cayenne pepper. Measure with what you feel would be right. Some garlic powder. A heck of a lot of salt. Some black pepper. Then you're gonna combine all your dry ingredients. Oh, I don't know, that just feels like I need way more spicy seasoning. I got chicken rub. This is supposed to be very hot. Okay. <clears throat> okay. The guy on TikTok said to double it up, so I don't think I've ever double coated chicken before, so first time for everything. Wow. That looks good. I'm kinda proud of that. 384 Six minutes <laughs> I just made that you can't even tell me that doesn't look like the best fried chicken. Is that real? Pickles, the more the merrier. The more the better. Pickles make everything better. Gonna have to split it in half a little bit. That is a good looking sandwich if I've ever seen one. I can't believe we cooked that chicken so good. If you know me, you know how bad my spice tolerance is, so cheers. <clears throat> okay, that's so good. No way I made that. This might be one of the best things I've ever made on the channel. Holy crap, oh my god. It's better than Chick-fil-A. It's so much better than Chick-fil-A. I'm not saying Chick-fil-A is the best sandwiches, by the way. I'm just saying, if I could compare it to something, it would be a step up from Chick-fil-A. Oh my... Who am I? <clears throat> a little spicy, though. I guess I did add a lot of spice. <laughs> what a cool dish to be known for. A delicious one at that. Look who I found in the river. What? <laughs> I'm just kidding. She looked at me. I looked at her. I was fishing. And then it kind of just happened. I gave her the green light and she ran in. And now here we are. The sun's going down and sky's in the river again. I'm going to let her go in as much as she possibly wants. So I just like seeing her happy. You guys know how I am. So, oh well. Wet soggy dog for the win. <laughs> You could have stayed. After dinner, I cleaned. And it looks pretty dang good in here, minus a few things, I know. Like, there's a big trash bag, but 
everything looks really good and is mostly organized. It's finally starting to cool off, which is nice, and I made my first ever friend camping. I know that kind of sounds crazy, but I always end up somewhere where there's no one else, and I never make friends on the road, but I just made two friends. They're staying at the campsite next to me, and they invited me to the fire pit. So, and not just me, they invited me and Sky. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm probably going to go hang out with them, and then come back in and set the hammock back up. It's not really much I have to do to set the hammock back up, but the sun is going down 10, 15 more minutes, so yeah. Pretty cool, dude. Sky? <laughs> okay, before we head over there, this is one side. Goes to that tree to a ratchet strap. We'll find out in a little bit if that will actually close. That would be fun. We head over here. Oh, this fell out my window. <laughs> That's our thermostat, 74. Pulling off, finally. Shove that in there. So, the other end, we have going through the window. Right? Perfect. Inside to the truck. Here. This is uh, that thing that I built. There are plenty of screws going this way, so, and if it rips off, I think the door will keep it shut. I will let you guys know. I mean, it held me for a good 20 minutes earlier. I just laid in that thing. Super, super comfortable, but I'm gonna close up the camper so no bugs get in while I'm gone, and, um, yeah, I'm excited to go hang out with my new friends. I don't know. You having fun? This guy's up If you've ever hammock camped before, you know that this is about as comfy as it gets. And honestly, this should just be called luxury truck camping because <laughs> this is like the most comfy I've ever been. And it's so hot that when you're in a hammock, it, it, like air is breathing on your back and behind your legs and all that. So it's like, it's hot, but this is the comfiest way to sleep tonight because it's so hot out because I, and my whole body can breathe you know besides of like suffocating on a mattress does that make sense if you've ever hammock camped before you kind of know what i'm talking about but i've hammock camped my fair share of times and every single time i ask myself why i don't do it more and then i don't do it for like six plus months so maybe this will be my wake-up call to start just pitching a hammock some nights you know of course, we ended up hanging out with those. There were so many of them. Uh, was it six in total? I don't even know. They all have crazy cool setups and rigs. And basically what they do is they travel around um, uh, mostly America, but a lot of Canada as well because they're actually from Montreal. They were all speaking French. And then uh, they'd switch over to speaking English for me to kind of... Uh, chime in which was really nice and you could tell they were trying not to speak French in front of me so that I could join in on the conversation um they were all just so ridiculously nice like I don't know it was so cool finally making friends and I know that sounds so weird but I've never made friends on the road before I just I think I keep to myself too much you know I would love to have an adventure friend to meet up with sometimes I think that'd be so cool um it's just this community, I feel like van life and truck life and bus life and everybody in this community is very, keeps to themselves, and um, I've kind of been doing that as well, I've, uh, you know, not on purpose, I'm now obviously realizing it, but that was way too deep, sorry. <clears throat> 
I have to have something on me. I can't just sleep with no blanket on. I find it weird that people can do that. Kind of wish I was able to, though. Ugh. Oh, this is so comfy. <laughs> this is crazy. This is so cool. I have to shut off the lights. That is so brutal. Yeah, I'm tired. I'm gonna go get some rest, and uh, I'll see you guys in the morning, or in the middle of the night if this thing snaps, because it's not necessarily bulletproof. At least that end. That end on the tree should be okay. I guess we'll find out. Good night. Good morning. If you, uh, didn't notice, <sighs> right before bed, when you guys saw me last, my head was on that side. And now it's on this side. Slammed my head on the refrigerator. So, switched over here. So much better. Just as comfortable, too. Which I didn't look at, honestly. The other way looked a lot more comfortable. My pillow fell at some point. <laughs> Um, got a little cold. <laughs> um, I got down to 60 last night, which, or, I'm pretty sure it's actually in the, f like, high 50s, like 55, 57-ish out right now, which is actually <laughs> so amazing. This place needed to cool down. It was so hot yesterday. I gotta get out of here before I fall back asleep again. It's so stupidly comfortable in here. Top three best sleeps I've ever had in the truck by a landslide. That's just me being generous by not calling it the best night of sleep I've ever had. Because I know someone in the comments would be like, no, hammocks aren't even that comfortable. Leave me alone. <laughs> I met the owner of this uh, farm. And they rent out the spots here. Low Meadow Farms in Knoxville, Tennessee is where I'm staying. And she handed me a sticker. And I was so excited because guess what? She's going... Oh god. Right there. Look at that. Nice. Say, I slept up here last night all by myself. And it was super comfy and cozy. I got a big bed. <laughs> oh, shoot. It did rain. I knew I heard it raining. Dang, I left her dog bed outside like an idiot. <laughs> that worked out so well. I really thought it was gonna break. There we go. Oh, I parked in a tree. Again. Sky? Good morning, pretty girl. <laughs> All packed up. Quick and easy. And uh, it was very effective as well. <laughs> that was uh, <laughs> That was actually really nice. What really sucks is I don't have cell service to get out of here. I don't know where I am. Alright, I'm just gonna drive until I have cell service. Um, because <laughs> there's no other option. Bye guys! We're going to the world's largest Bucky's. <laughs> yeah, girl. We can't leave Tennessee without going there, that's for sure. Do you see that sign? It says no tractor trucks, tractor trailers, no 18 wheelers. Directly across the street is a Bass Pro Shops. I can, I can see it. In between Knoxville and the Smoky Mountains is indeed the actual world's largest Bucky's. 
and just world's largest gas station, period. So, uh, yeah, I'm going in. I got a Bucky's coffee because they do have amazing coffee. That is so unnecessarily large. I, I don't even, why? That's insane. Sky and I are gonna hit the road. You guys will just have to wait and see what's next. I love you guys, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in into today's episode. Sky and I will catch you beautiful people on the next one.